Okay. Yeah. Hey, Matt, what was the, uh, I guess, difference between the halves in terms of their shooting? Was it just simply what happened with you in Minnesota where you just get hot after halftime or were they getting better shots, anything like that? Was it, was it mismatches? Yeah, they, you know, they were, uh, they went small a lot, but you know, a lot of like Wiggins's stuff, you know, was coming off of pin downs. He had not, he had one in a ball screen where he hit a pull up, he had one on out of bounds where he hits a 17 footer. Um, then he hit two threes, one off a of penetration and another one off a of just a top pin down that we didn't get through. Um, and, and then, you know, they, they really tried to go find the matchup, um, you know, against us, whether they were attacking our big or, you know, a, a big physical guard, our guards to the basket there late. So we, you know, we were just trying to keep that in front of us and keep them out of the paint and keep it to where they had to score over us. But also we didn't want them to get a rhythm three, but, you know, they, they stepped up and, and, uh, you know, made some shots, you know, obviously when you guys ask questions like that, they made eight three, so I can't go through eight, all eight plays, you know, Ayala jab steps one time on a mismatch with our center and, and, and hits a three, um, you know, the, the, the biggest one was Morsell, you know, more, you know, he's a guy that's not a three point shooter. And then we've been switching everything and then he'd really burn us with the back cut and then a couple of drives. And so we were going to play regular ball screen D for that possession. And, uh, you know, he was going to pop and we knew he would be open and, uh, you know, he takes a shot that we really wanted and he, you know, he knocks it down. So, you know, give him credit for making that big, you know, that big three. What were you trying to get there with 3.3 left? I, you know, we were trying to get a, you know, Jaden on the run after he passed it um, to get going. And then our second option was to be able to hit Travion then, and then Travion would be able to hit him on the run after that. Um, but obviously we didn't complete that pass. So, you know, those plays there with three seconds, those, you know, those are, um, you know, full court plays like the, the you know, those are, uh, you know, those are high risk plays. That's, that, that's really difficult when you get into those situations because, you know, they did a good job of playing prevent defense and trying to keep it in front of us. We just had to complete that pass and then try to hit him on the run. But if not, you know, catch it clean and at least get a couple of dribbles for three seconds. Um, but, you know, he wasn't the he wasn't the primary outlet, but you have to have something if you can't get it to that person. So yeah. after you, you'd built up that offensive offensive momentum to go up seven, the last couple of possessions were dropped right. you know, turned out right. What were you trying to get there? And did they do something different? On which one now? The last two full possessions you had. I, I think Jaden missed the three, and then Jaden missed the fall away. Were you trying to get something quicker than yeah. that? Or yeah, no, the one, the, the one where he had the fall away, we were just trying to ISO on a single, single pin down and just trying to get into the basket and have space. And, you know, obviously he had made, you know, some of those plays that was very similar to that. Um, and then, then the other one we, we just didn't execute and then ended up – with him trying to make a play there at the end. You know, we, we had that happen a lot where <clears throat> they take away a lot of stuff and you got to be able to make an individual play. And I thought Jaden did a really good job um, of, of driving and making that play. Eric Connor made a, a nice pull up um, as, as the game progressed, you know, there at the end. And we, we felt like we had that matchup, um, you know, with Travion in the post and we wanted to go that as much as possible, but that's what they were taking away also. And that opened up some driving lanes and, you know, it all looks good when, you know, you drive and make those plays, but then when you don't, you know, we got pushed out a little bit. You have to go to the next. We probably had about, I don't know, I, I said five, but probably a little bit more than that, you know, possessions where guys got stuck and then they're not ultimately stuck in terms of, you know, there's two on the shot clock and then they take a shot, whether that's a contested shot and they get a block or they double pump or they, you know, they're just getting a shot up at that point. If there's two on the clock and you get in those positions, you know, it is what it is. Um, but when there's more time than that, you know, we have to have just a little bit more, you know, resolve and, um, and cut and help that person so they don't have to take such a tough shot. But uh, we just got to learn from it and be better the next time. Right. This is the third road game you've played where it's come down to the last possession. Is that just kind of the big 10 this year where, where pretty much everybody's as good as everybody else? And it just comes down to, you know, to – quote the old cliche, you know, uh, whoever makes one more play or anything like that. Yeah, that, I, that's exactly what I told her guys. You feel like a million bucks when you make one more play than somebody, then you feel, you know, you feel awful um, when they make one more play than you. But that, that's what it came down to. Like, you know, we, Ayala made a great play. He, he missed and, you know, he got his rebound and then he had to make the free throw. So he had to get his rebound. He had to get fouled. Then he had to make those free throws. And that's, 
that's that's the difference in the game. He, he made that play, and then you know made made his free throw. So, but yeah, that's you know anytime you get into competition and you get into conference play, you, you'll you'll see a lot of possession games. What was what was what was yesterday like for you? Um, you know, obviously, you know, you want to get on a schedule and, you know, you fly a lot. You spend a lot of time, whether it's recruiting or, you know, traveling with your team. And, you know, you, so you, have, you get in those situations and, you know, when they go through the, you know, the prep for an emergency landing, you know, makes your, makes your mind race. You know, there's no question about that. It makes everybody's mind race. And then after they prepped us and talked about it and, you know, they, they come back on and say it's not going to be an emergency landing. You know, you, you have a little, you know, relief at that time. And so then obviously we did not have an emergency landing. But when you do land and you got to get a new plane and you see, you know, 15 fire trucks out there on the, the runway, you, you knew it was something that was close. And, um, you know, makes you appreciate things. And uh, you just have to, you know, now you go get a new plane, you get a new pilot. You, uh, you, you sit there and you're like, man, let's just go home and, you know, go to bed and try it tomorrow. But, um, you know, it, it's just one of those things that happened. And we were very fortunate. We had a lot of professional, you know, people on that flight. The, you know, the, the pilot was great and was able to land the plane. And, and uh, but, I, but I know everybody was a little, you know, you know, walking on eggshells a little bit. I'm good. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Uh, Mike Carmen. This is uh, Matt, throughout this game, you, you, you were overcoming your turnovers, you know, in the first half and, you know, in, in, in some other games, you haven't been able to do that. But is that is that any kind of sign that you can you can use moving forward that you battled through that adversity? Adversity, and they, you know, as you said, they made one more play, but you guys were able to come out on you know come out on at least from the turnover standpoint in a in a good position. Yeah, you know, we just we talked at halftime because you know we had a, I think they had nine total rebounds at halftime. We just said you know we out rebounded them. I think. I think we out rebounded by eight. So in the second half, we only out rebounded by one. We just set up, you know, if we can rebound the ball the same way, and, you know, and not turn it over. We had four turnovers, you know, in the second half, which four turnovers in one half is 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 pretty good. And so we did a better job. We didn't do as good as job rebounding the second half. But yeah, you know, anytime you you have that many turnovers and you're on the road and you're still up three and a half, like you you know, you'll take it. But you also would like to be in a better position. You know, I just thought we had some careless turnovers, but we also had some shots that aren't, you know, as I said earlier, that, that do not go in the box scores, turnovers that are turnovers. You know, we just kept getting stuck, and then guys would just, you know, take a tough shot. And we needed those possessions back just as much as we needed the turnovers, you know, back. You know, we, we just got to – we just can't have that many empty possessions. And, and our guys just have to play um, with just a better feel than they did tonight. Or, you know, if we do that, we put ourselves in a great position. I mean, did, do you feel like you had too many empty possessions when you were up five or six with a chance to, to maybe extend it to, to eight? Oh, or no, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. We needed that one big shot. You know, we needed that one big play to, to get it to, you know, three possessions, four possessions. And, you know, if you're lucky, um, you know, that would have been great. And, uh, you know, we, we just couldn't get to that point. Um, you know, we, but, you know, give Maryland credit. They, they played well. Just the, the minutes you've gotten from Isaiah the last couple games, what, what's he given you? And uh, is it is just more of a settling presence or is it some, something else? No, I thought he was good. You know, he, uh, he did turn the basketball over. You know, he knocks down a couple threes. Um, you know, I, he did good things for us. You know, and I, I think when you come off the bench, it's hard. And, you know, I, I thought our bench did some really good things tonight. All of them, you know, did some really – Aaron rebounded the basketball, you know, Ethan – came in and was solid, but, you know, Isaiah was, he was really good. Obviously he got more minutes than those guys. He played, you know, 23 and a half minutes, but um, when, you, when you can play that position and not turn the basketball over, it really helps you, especially in a game where, you know, the rest of our guards were, you know, turning the basketball over, you know, it, it was good to have somebody out there taking care of the ball. Uh, are, is Sasha good to go for Saturday or is that still to, to be determined? No, if everything goes as planned and everything has so far, so. Um, yeah, it, 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 that looks like he's, he's going to be able to play. But uh, we'll take tomorrow off, and then we'll practice Thursday and Friday. So um, when we do our thing, whenever that is, I should have an update by then. Right. I mean, is he scheduled to practice Thursday then? Yes. Yeah, not, not all the way. He, I don't think he can do 100% of everything on Thursday. I think he can do 100% on 
on Friday, if I understood Chad correctly. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyone else for Coach Painter? Hey, Coach. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, um, can you talk a bit about the role that young guys like Brandon and Jaden have played on the team so yeah. far and uh, what you're looking, at, looking to get out of them going forward? Yeah. Well, you know, both of them have done some really good things for us. And uh, kind of a byproduct of youth is – just trying to get that consistency. And that's hard because, you know, like, like Brandon Newman was, you know, was so good in our last game. And then he had 17 the first time we played Maryland. So, you know, they're, they're going to be gunning for him and they're going to be, you know, making it hard on him. And, you know, you're, you're on that scouting report and, um, you know, they're just trying to take you away, especially with Sasha not there. A lot of times guys will just go take Sasha away. And, uh, and so now he's kind of growing into that also to where, you know, people are just, you know, giving him a lot of attention. And for us, that helps us. Even when he's not scoring, it helps us because from a spacing standpoint, you can drive a little easier. Guys can get post-ups a little easier because you got to stay with him because he'll knock down shots. I know he didn't have a great game today, but, you know, he, he's really played well for us. And then, you know, Jaden, um, you know, made some really good plays down the stretch, you know, driving the basketball, getting to the rim. When people are taking a lot of things away, you got to have – guys that can beat their man off the dribble. And obviously he can, you know, he can do that. So, um, you know, it's just kind of developing and just keep working on, you know, getting better defensively, getting better from a competitive standpoint. You know, all young guys are, you know, that way in, in terms of, you know, they, they want it all. And uh, it just doesn't come all right away. But they've uh, they both done a good job for us. All of our freshmen thought Zach really did a good job tonight. I talked about Isaiah. I know he's a sophomore. You know, Ethan made that big three. For us. But Ethan did some good things. He, he, Ethan was good when he was in there. That, that's solid. He, he's really been put in some tough spots because he doesn't play a lot of minutes. And he got a chance to play a little bit more tonight. Um, you know, so that was great. You know, Mason, you know, like Aaron, like they both, the, you know, both those guys play. We got 12 rebounds from Aaron and Mason. Like that's, you know, that's that's pretty solid when you when you do that. And then you look what Zach's been able to do. And we get 13 rebounds from our center. And we get 27 points from our center. So, like, you know, those, those guys are being productive. Like, if you win this game by one point, you know, you're, you know, you're praising those guys for the, the roles and the play and the little things that they did. Well, you got you to gotta praise them when you, you lose by one point. It's just one possession. So, we, we, you know, we were doing some good things. We just got to be a little bit better than we were to get the win tonight.